So what we have here is the sample chart with some question marks showing. So I'm going to try to explain how to fix these. With mosaic crochet, and this is overlay mosaic, you alternate your yarn color every row. So we have our yarn color here for the B row. Let's just say it's white. We have our yarn color here for the A row. Let's just say it's blue. And we can go along with these colors. However, obviously, it would be whatever colors you're doing. So we have white yarn, blue yarn. This is the first row. So obviously, it's going to be your chains and your first row of single crochets. This is your second row, which because there's no symbol in here, those would be back loop single crochets. Your third row, according to this chart, has all X's, so these would be front loop double crochets into this stitch. Front loop double crochet into this stitch. This is a front loop double crochet into this stitch. The reason these are gray and not blue, even though we stitched those with blue yarn, is because they're covered by these stitches. That's the reason I made these gray. That helps you know that these are going to be covered over by these X's above. When we come up here, these are your A row color front loop double crochets. However, when you do a front loop double crochet, you have to go two rows down into a front loop. But then we didn't make these visible. They're still showing on this chart as gray. And the chart thinks when they're gray, they're supposed to be covered by a B row front loop double crochet. So either these have to be front loop double crochets to stitch into here, or if these are going to be front loop double crochets in the A color, these have to be blue because these front loops need to be available for these to stitch into. I know on some charts the design is all the same color, but for this code to work to recognize where to put the X's, I had to make these two different colors. Same with the B area. I had to make it white and gray. That's the lightest gray that's available to VBA code. Anyway, so that's how this worked. For there to be a front loop double crochet, there has to be a front loop available for it two rows down. So really any straight up and down front loop double crochet has to take up three spaces, not just two. So again, up here, this down here, if it's gray, you're telling the chart you want this to be covered by the, the next row, which would be the B row. But in this case, we have these stitches here blue. So I think the intention is to have these be front loop double crochets into this row. So we want to make these blue as well. So let's hit add X's again, and this should fix the problem. And it did. So I hope that makes sense. Just keep in mind when you're doing a front loop double crochet, you have to have a front loop two rows down. So you want three cells in a row to be the blue color, not just two. So same for the white cells. This won't work either because we're telling this cell that we want this to be covered by the stitch above it. However, we didn't make this blue to tell the code that this is going to be a front loop double crochet. So this is just sort of sitting here right now with there's no stitch above it to cover it. So it either needs to be the main B color or we make the stitch above it blue and then it would cover it just fine. I hope that makes sense. <laughs>